Welcome to another installment of Property Vlog. Today, I'm so excited to show you this fantastic house behind me called The Thespian. So we are at Bellways Development in Essex. Click the link in the description to find out more about where this particular development is located. But the stats on this house behind me is that it's actually a three bedroom house. The approximate size of it is 921 square feet. I forgot to mention, it also comes with a garage and two parking spaces. And when you're interested in the pricing, click the description to find out more directly from the developers right so let's tour the whole thing together hi come inside okay love the entrance so now we're in the hallway as you can see they've got that amazing coir matting it's actually a very durable matting this isn't quite a coir but it's in a brown brown color but it's just obviously a nice kind of entrance you can kind of dust off your feet and they've got that in the property already so you don't have to think about that straight off onto there off there into the main hallway i love this flooring you know it's up to you to check if it's actually part of the standard spec and upgrade and all the information is going to be in the description for this house i love the skirting really pared down simple sometimes you can see those taller skirts kept it really nice and modern which means it's very functional not too decorative simple skirting simple architrave profiles but they match and they pair really well together you've got your thermostat here and i like the width of this hallway so to my left you're right your radiator as well a socket there again guys for new build properties you can decide wherever you want these to be you can move them around play around with the plan a little bit security system and yeah this is the hallway so let's look at the first room so this room through these gorgeous white panel doors is your front lounge as you can see it's a dual aspect room so you've got a view facing the front of the property through double windows and then this gorgeous bay window and i love the splayed corners actually um it's kind of a little bit more victorian rather than the modern square ones and yeah it's just an opportunity for lots of light and it widens the room lets you look over the side of the property so it's great for looking over natural surveillance as I like to say and then yeah this is the proportions of the room it's not too big but I think for a front room it's nicely proportioned you can definitely fit in the sofas that you can see here so yeah that's the first room let's keep moving so the next room in here is going to be this open plan dining and kitchen area so again this is another dual aspect room we're looking at the front of the property and the back now but you might be a bit kind of wondering is that not the side no guys that's the front and those are the sides of the property and then the back is that way You've got the dining here currently staged as a six seater um, and i think it's a nice proportion there's enough room around there you've got the radiator below the window there you've got these double doors facing the back there is access to the garden and i'll just give you a sneak peek to the garden because a lot of the times people want to see the gardens so as you can see for the show home this particular plot is paved and then they've done some decorative features in the garden again you'll probably get paving slab slabs and turf which may be an option okay so keep that in mind and then the actual size of the garden that you get will depend on the plot that you go for so moving on from the dining we're now in the kitchen in terms of the specification everything as you can see has been integrated so it's kind of all hidden away gas hob here by Zanussi and I love the color of these cabinets it's kind of done it in a matte effect but it's a wood grain with these um kind of like a brushed stainless steel chrome handle they're not polished and then on the inside you've got these white cabinets and the storage in terms of the height is standard heights they've not taken them all the way to the ceiling which is what I tend to really like but again it's practical because you can actually reach the top shelf and then um this is probably where your boiler lives yep so this is a Logic Combi ESP, ESP135, bank of sockets controlling all your um, units there, your appliances I mean, and then you've got your splash back which is done in the same style as the worktops. And the worktops look like they're the sal stone types which they've done the fabricated grooves into the worktop and then it goes straight into your stainless Blanco sink there with your mixer tap, love it. So let's just whiz through the cabinets really quickly we've got Zanussi washing there storage under the sink horizontal handles so guess what it's a dishwasher by AEG love it storage I love the fact that this is now cutlery drawer very convenient for cooking isn't it 
again it's all on soft closes love it so again storage 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 just ample storage really even up here love it so that's the storage cabinet as you can see on soft closers and we've got integrated double oven here by Zanussi more storage below and then your fridge freezer here in a 70 30 arrangement by AEG love it so in the kitchen areas you can see the spotlights that's completely up to you what you want to do and then again um oh i've got to mention one of my favorite features is that we have got a window above the sink how could i miss this i absolutely love it so no it's not directly in front of the the, the sink but again it's so nice to be doing your washing up and look at the garden and have that light bouncing in so let's keep it moving underneath the staircase i love use of stock use of space we've got our services under there our fuse board internet that's fantastic just using space whenever you can and then we've got here our downstairs powder room slash wc as we call it in the uk so this is a nice size wc you've got your sink and your toilet there and it's a hidden cistern the faceplate and the toilet are by rocker and it's a nice little ledge for you to put um, decorative things in there your sink's kind of your usual small kind of um, functional sink in the corner but it's up to you obviously you can upgrade that if you wanted but that's pretty much what you get for the downstairs toilet so let's go upstairs i love the carpeted tread you know if you do have a choice if you don't mind the aesthetics of carpet it's always the better choice because it's fantastic for the acoustics you know when you've got a busy house full of kids running up and down you've got the you know the carpet muffling the voice uh, the voice the sounds of footsteps so let's go into the first room here so this room here is staged as a single bedroom staged as a kids bedroom it's got a window face in the back socket radiator and it thanks brian for turning the lights on this is where your single bed would go and then your wardrobe would be over here nice proportions it fits everything that you need it to do and there is a view come on over of the garden let's keep going so back at our landing let's go to the next room this is another single bedroom but can you see that it's not a very tight single it's actually quite a spacious single bedroom this is more of a square shaped room so you can fit your bed over there and i think as the children grow up you can opt for a double bed against the wall if you don't mind that kind of arrangement again it's completely up to you how you furnish the rooms there is a double window face in the front of the property opening on one side only and then again they've already thought about how they put the wardrobes we've got a fitted wardrobe against this wall and it doesn't eat into the space at all so that's very good let's move to the next room so this room here switch on the light we've got our fabulous spotlights fully tiled which is probably an extra again each development's different so if you don't like the fact that obviously I'm mentioning that there are additions guys it's just the way these properties are there's always going to be something to be negotiated and it depends on the individual development what's an extra or what's standard so this has fully tile floor I love that you've got sink toilet and your bathtub by rocker as well and there probably will be an option to do a shower over bath again to be discussed with your developer um, and then yes fully tiled window and i love the large window completely obscure glazing so it's very private and yeah that's it that's the bathroom we've got an additional door over here which i'll show you this i love this they've utilized the space above the stair it's storage so your every little helps as you know and then just in case you thought that was it nope there's one more room so let's go over here and this is the main bedroom so this is your primary bedroom it's facing the other side of the property and it's got its own ensuite which i'll show you in a second right now it's staged with a king size bed and it still has size it still has enough room for a uh, two sets of bedside tables you've got over here a dressing table area so there still is space to maneuver around here and your fitted wardrobes if you really wanted to you could obviously go without the dressing table and just have the fitted ward uh, wardrobes extended you've got your tv socket over here 
like I said, the window over there, radiator, and let's walk into the ensuite. So the ensuite is over here. The ensuite is a three piece suite. So we've got tiling to the floor, as you can see, and then you've got tiling, half height tiling over here. The rest of the wall is left plain. The window faces the back of the garden and it's opening as well, which is great. It's frosted or obscure, as I like to say. And then if I just get out of the way, we'll show you the shower. So this is a shower which is fully tiled in this absolutely stunning neutral toned well, it looks like a natural stone effect porcelain tile, sliding doors, and then you can see the thermostatic shower there. So that's going to be a nice power shower as well. So yeah, guys, that's lovely. That's the ensuite for you. Now let's continue. And I will say thank you so much for joining us on the tour. I just like to give you a little bit of a taste, but if you want to know more about this particular property, click the description and there's like a little link that will take you straight to the developer's website. If you're interested in watching more videos like this, there will be a couple of links that'll pop up maybe left or right, but most of all subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Bye.